Hey everyone, we're going to be expanding on our how to animate object visibility by changing the keyframe and selection method from numbers to words. So instead of like selecting six as your sword, you'll just type in the word sword. It'll be helpful. So last minute I was playing around with the setup and just trying it out, and you can't actually keyframe strings, which in retrospect makes sense. I can understand why they didn't expect anyone would want to keyframe strings, but I want to. So as far as switching objects mid-animation, this doesn't work. If you have a large catalog of objects and just need one in a specific location for an animation or render, it'll still work well. Thank you! Now watch it, it's still good. And fast, you'll see. To start out with, I'm going to create a new collection to keep my outliner organized. For this example, I'm just going to use four random shapes, and since they're going to be our instance objects, we have to turn off their visibility so they only show up when we want them to. Now let's add an object to create the geometry node system on. I'm going to add a plane and merge it at center because that's what I like to do, but you can use a single vert and it's a little quicker. You can also use literally anything else and just merge it. Since we're going to be instancing objects on this object's points, I only want one vertex at the world origin. So if you're using anything other than a single vertex, hit M and merge at center. Now with our single vertex object selected, let's head into the geometry node editor. Hit new here to add a geometry node modifier to our object. Then hit shift A, add an instance on points node, and drop it on this line. Now shift drag each object into the geometry node editor. Drop a switch node here, leave the false socket empty, and put the first object in the true socket. Now duplicate and chain together switch nodes until all of the objects are connected. At this point it's very similar to the method from this video, but we're going to be doing something a little different here to utilize text instead of numbers to control our object visibility. Add a compare node, switch the type to string, and connect to the top socket. Type a string in the bottom socket here, preferably whatever word you want to use to activate the first object. For this example it's a cube, so I'm going to use the word cube, and then connect the result to the switch. And now if you type a word in here, and it matches with a compare node string, that node will output a value of 1 and turn on the corresponding switch. Duplicate the compare node, and switch the bottom socket to whatever string you want to use to activate the next object. Then connect it up, and just keep doing this for the remaining objects. Just keep using the group input node's first socket for each of them. And now you can change which object is active by typing in the object name, which is pretty cool. The downside to this is that you have to spell the words correctly every time. And if you're bad at spelling like me, you're going to end up with it not working a lot, because you either spell the string wrong, and then you type in it right, and it doesn't activate, or you type it in wrong, and the string was spelled correctly, and then it's a lot of extra work. You know. You can create multiple alternative spellings and use a boolean math node set to OR, then either spelling will activate the visibility of the object. So if you're bad at typing like me, that helps a bit. Kinda. Like with everything in Blender, you can get as crazy as you want with alternative spellings. There's probably a way to rip apart and rejoin strings to do some really interesting stuff if you're creative enough, so have at it. I hope you guys liked it. You can, you can type stuff in now. It helps. Sometimes it, the other stuff is easier. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share a video if you want to help the channel grow. We also have a Patreon. Thank you again. Stay safe. I love you all. Ah, there was a random pop and it scared me. Goodbye.